can tell. Um... Everything looks okay right now. There are like a fuck ton of sh of A4 members. Wow, look at these points. Guile classically has trouble against Seth. Namely in down hard kick. There it was. That's Guile's best answer. Jump A throw, I feel like. That's like a really good response. But you've got to be on your on your game watching for it. And if you're not on your game watching for it, if it's like a really low one, you can flash kick it like you just did there. Um, but you have to make that decision really fast. And also, you have to keep charge for the flash kick in order to even use that as an option. So it ends up being kind of tricky for Gal to anti in this matchup. You can focus that. Focus dash in gives you a punish. Seth can do focus dash in, stand fierce. Gal should never use that sweep in high level play. I shouldn't say never, because it does kind of function as a poke to some degree, especially if you have ADC it. That was cool. He would have had a follow up there, that was a really high light flash kick. Air grab is really critical for Gal fixing a lot of his bad matchups. Oof, that was good. That's a bad jump back. It was a good stay at full screen from the set. Ugh. Seth can't really use his EX Fireball very well to overcome a Fireball War, I feel like. And he can't really win a Fireball War against Guile, so... I feel like he should be looking for more, like, Stan Fierce, stuff like that. Seth doesn't have a... a oh, he missed his punish. Focus Dash In gives you a bigger punish than just uppercutting between the hits, and it also... Um, it's less risky. That was pretty good gal play. I'm pretty sure that's regarded as one of his bad matchups. He doesn't like the uh, the sure you can sure you can throw a mix up at all. Gal's uh, flash kick loses clean to Seth's. Problematic. Man, I haven't done a bath cup in ages. This feels weird. Oh, that's that's this is Rob's main? Mm, question mark? I don't actually know who Rob mains, but he plays a lot of characters and his bison seems to be really strong. But this is a matchup that I would understand why he'd want to avoid it. But it's not as booty as it used to be. The thing about the thing about M Bison, the thing about Giles, he still wins the footsies of this matchup pretty hard. But now, Bison can pretty much, any time he gets a bar, he basically gets an EX scissor kick. Like, 100% of the time. Like, he doesn't even need to, like... Like, Guile can't play in a way to avoid EX scissor kicks. He gives up too much. He'd rather just eat every EX scissor kick and then continue to play the way he always does. And Gal, uh, Bison can use EX scissor kick to punish uh, Sonic Boom on reaction from a ton of ranges. So it's like a nice little weapon he has in this matchup now. But it's not... I don't know, I don't think it fixes the matchup. But it does make things easier. Oh, that was weird. If he actually didn't hit on Fierce, he would have had a bigger punish, maybe. Even a sweep would have been a better punish, would have done the same damage. If Rob did jump strong there, it would have hit before the air throw could have, I think. He might have had to do it very preemptively. A bit brave going to um, Bison against a guy. That wasn't a very good time to use that. EX would have been better there, but no reversal maybe would have been better yet. Bison has a lot of cool reversal options, but none of them are that great against the cross up. Early jump hard kick. It's a bad time to go for an FO. This is still like a really, really uphill battle. Rob hasn't pulled out EX as a kick once. I think it would have been a punish there. Ugh, that's too far. That was really risky. That might be a punish. No. Didn't they speed that up in one of the versions? Still looked kind of slow. Ouch. Rob said fun times before the stream even finished on my side. Unfortunate. Is my match ready yet? That was pretty fast. That might be the first one done. Spiced Helix. Sp sp spliced Helix.
That was interesting. That was a good play. Um, so probably everyone's playing right now, right? We can't actually get a game right now. Need to wait for other matches to resolve. I just hope someone someone in Team Bath wins. Um okay. Volcane and Toshin finish, so we can get Shovecats and Volcane going. That seems good. Try to invite both of them. Volcane's here. Get in here, Shove. Brutus. Wrath didn't enter. I should have messaged him. I didn't even look for him. Coming, end quote. Okay. Ooh, we could have had Split and Jaren instead. That would have been cool. Hi, uh, what's going on here? I'm expecting uh, Zangief versus... No, I don't know. I have no idea. Alright, it was Zangief versus Kami. I've seen Volcane's Kami before. Off the top of my... From the last time I saw them, I would expect Shovecats to have um, the skill advantage. Volcane, those numbers are higher than I've seen the last. Martin said invite me, nerd. Uh, that means Martin won. That means my, he's my next opponent. Martin's a pretty good player. I'm in danger. Ooh. He plays Ken, who is my bane. One sec. I got pulled away for a sec. What happened? In this matchup, Kami literally wins by hitting Sandhar Kick a lot. Sometimes same medium kick, and then ATRs. Her ATR Sandhar Kick is actually pretty good in this matchup. Whoa, that's what a weird normal. Same medium kick is okay. I don't like this walk in, walk out, it's really stiff. You need to have, like, less movement. Ooh. I think you can't really stop a backdash very efficiently from that range, you should have walked in a little bit. Yeah, that was an ATR. That probably wouldn't have even won against an EX dive kick. Which would have been an ultra. But he shouldn't have been jumping in. This is an unnecessary 50-50. He didn't need to pursue it. Uh, that gets the best of us. You can mash an uppercut to guarantee punish there. I think. You can react. Also, I'm pretty sure you can just hit buttons, but oof, that could have been a big punish. If he reacted to the fact that it was a running bear, he could have just jumped and it would have been a lot more damage. Kami, unfortunately, I wouldn't say she struggles versus Zangief, but she has to play perfect against Zangief. As most characters do. For every error you make, um, Kami, Kami has kind of an easy time compared to most characters making errors, because she's, quote, kind of hard. Um, so, for every error you make, you take, you take a ton of damage. Compared to the amount of damage you get when Zangief makes errors, which is probably like a stand hard kick. That was like okay play. Hard kick actually is kind of the key to this matchup with Kami. I wouldn't say it's the key. More like it's the it's the ground. It's the floor. It's 
the basis of this matchup. I actually don't like this counter pick very much. I mean, I like it. I think Poison beats Zangief, but I personally suck versus Zangief as Poison. I feel like it's kind of complex keeping grapplers out. Maybe not grapplers, maybe just Zangief. Dialg is pretty simple to keep out. I think she does well at it, though. I think Poison beats Zangief, and I feel like this matchup is a lot more simple and straightforward. Chuck Plasma. This has gone from a matchup where only one of Kami's tools works, but it works well, to like all of Poison's tools still work. And Poison's kind of like a strong character. He had no business jumping in. The one question in this matchup is staying out of the corner. Uh, he shouldn't have contested it. Good punish. Yeah, the, the Rekka's... I reckon this would have been nice to escape the corner if he finished them. Got him. Backdash. No, it was the backflip. It was the kick, kick, kick. Um, that's a good, good escape and good punish. That wasn't terribly risky. It was punishable in reaction because he was cornered. He needs to use Poison's backdash a little bit, and also that could have spelled disaster. Crouch block to jump in, but uh, Brutus Shovecats was not looking for it. Could have had a full jumping combo. Jump Fierce. Oh, that's probably safe from that range. Jump Fierce, stand forward, stand strong, etc. I'm pretty sure the Poison's little flip kick thing, Geef has trouble beating. Oh, he could have juggled out of that. And it's minus one. Uh, the Rekka, I feel like, was a good option, but... Ooh! Could have had a better punish. He got out of the corner, and he's got a lot of fireball pressure, which he doesn't do, and then he immediately gets cornered, and then eats a headbutt. And then drops an ultra. That went pretty bad for Volcane, but he's still in this. He needs to put up that fireball pressure and not just walk back. He's giving up way too much ground. You're okay at fighting Zangief with no bar from that range. You don't need to be that far away. Not until he gets an EX green hand. You don't need to be that far away anyway. Punish that! That was a kind of shitty punish. This is this is a match full of errors. Ooh, that wasn't a punish. It could have been, I'm pretty sure. Bath Cup is my tournament. I haven't run it in a little while. He asked what, not when. Although I misread it as when when he first posted it, too. So Poison worked out for him. Even playing that, even even with some mistakes here and there, uh, Shovecats looked like he had a lot harder time dealing with Poison than Kami. We both lose pretty early. We'll have a good time tonight. Yeah, we could do dual commentary if we both get our asses kicked. You report your losses to the challenge. You can just edit the challenge yourself. Ooh, round start. Counter hit. Green hand. Counter hit. Green hand knocks down. Ugh. I think he could have done the cross up. I think he did the fake cross up to try and trick out, but I think the real cross up would have just been better. Keep poison in the corner, that's like your big weapon in this matchup is Geef. Looks like he doesn't really need a big weapon this round. I was expecting the reset. And he did the reset. That was pretty for free. Uh, a bit more crouch fierce maybe with those jumps. A bit more blocking and watching with those green hands. Unfortunately, Zangief has a lot of meter now. I think Poison could have anti that with the XDP. Ooh, that's a pretty good button in this matchup. Uh, he shouldn't be reversing that. That was... Uh, he should have thrown... He should have done an actual punish instead of throwing Geef in, And it should have been a throw into the corner. Backflip? Uppercut that failed. What version of Uppercut was that? I feel like medium would have worked there. Might have been light. Bagdash. He should have been using that since a long time ago. That was pretty desperate, but it worked. That was extremely desperate, but it worked. You would be watching for an anti-air fireball at Ultra 1 at this point. That was it. That was it. He should have won. Mm. Interesting. Poison's backdash might have been caught from that range, but I don't know, because it is kind of a good backdash. It gets far away in addition to being airborne. A backflip would have been more choice.
Alright, I gotta fight Martin. God help me. Let me double check that that's actually the bracket. Yup. I don't know why I had to. Get in here, nerd. <sighs> if I knew he was going to play Ken, which I don't, I would kind of like to go Gal. I hope he's not a. I hope he's out of practice too. That's a bit tall. They have a tall order, isn't it? Martin is an extremely dangerous person. Um. Hello. There he goes. <laughs> That's a really bad start. Look at me. Jab, jab, jump in. <laughs> Whoa, that hit me so high. Alright, it's fine. That self corner wasn't very good, was it? Board roundhouse is okay. Damn, I walk in. out of FADC range. I'm only slightly winning on a meteor. I probably shouldn't have burned any during the uh, dizzy. I'll take that. Anyone attempt to take a front? That time either. Ugh, I didn't actually see that crossing out. Shit. This is not good. That's a punish. That's pretty desperate. Ugh, this is not looking good. <laughs> Fuck. I wouldn't like Alan that much of either. Damn, I got flanned. I'm out of practice. Give me a give me a break. I'm just gonna stick with it. Range combos. Damn, I was hungry. Anyway. 
That's not good. Damn. Fuck! Why is Reed's on point? Damn. This is not good. This is not good. Look at that. <sighs> Out round one. I waited to confirm nothing, but I waited much too long. I should have had a um, low strong. What do you call it? Link's tail going. Ouch. Do I have my next game lined up? Yeah, Harem Kingle. I'm not even sad. I feel like I deserve to lose that. Who is this guy? Or perhaps where is this guy? Who is Harem Kingle? Pelvis... Pel Pelvis Presley. Okay. It's fine, I'm the strongest in loser's bracket. Damn, everyone's giving me hella, hella problems for this. Ooh, that bar. Black. I'm not picking my color. That's my problem. All two color three. I'd have had a lot more success if I picked the right color. Are you ready? Fight! These fireballs? There's the uppercut. Are they fake fireballs? Ooh, the counter broke. That was an accident. It could have been a bad accident. <gasps> wow, I didn't mean for that. I didn't mean for that either. Sloppy, sloppy. Could have been uppercut off ADC Ultra 1. That's punishable. Oh yeah, you won, you won with the lineup by doing nothing, I forgot. I was doing stuff. I forgot that nothing is the superior or something. That was just canceled regardless of whether it was going to work or not. This was going to chip out, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I didn't want that. That was a punch. Even that late. It was a negative edge. Wow. Uh. My punish on his punish kind of sucked. That kind of sucked, too. Sloppy, sloppy. Yeah, Ryu wins this matchup through hard fireball. It was very problematic for Elena. Maybe he's a little unwilling to do it because of slide, but he shouldn't be because you have to guess slide to punish a hard fireball. It comes in too fast. Elena can't slide it on reaction unless she's really far out. And she can't efficiently jump in against fireball.
because her jump is slow. He's throwing entirely too few fireballs. They're not bad against Elena. There's a bait. That didn't hit. Ugh, that was sloppy. I didn't even get the punish. He's as cowardly as me. Should always be ready to take a throw if that whiffs. A little far out, he should have been going for stand stand by the house. Sloppy and bad. These fake fireballs. Weird frame trap. That's enough. Oh, anti air stand jab. I should have gotten killed right there. Uppercut up ADC Ultra. I've been anti-airing. I just haven't anti-aired every jump. I've been anti-aired about half of them. Shit, it's fine. Everything is okay. Next match probably hasn't lined up, so let's see what we got elsewhere. That was both, right? DSC's too serious, said GG's to me. Who is Luke Squad? Um, He's in the chat, isn't he? Who is Luke Squad? Yeah, Luke Squad's in the chat. It's alright. Yeah, you didn't throw enough hard fireballs. I was saying that between rounds. I don't know, you probably didn't have the stream open. But uh, hard fireball is kind of like important in that matchup. Hard fireball, Elena has to guess to punish it. She can't jump over fireballs because her jump is really slow, so if she tries to jump over a fireball and doesn't adequately predict it, where you can uppercut. And you need a really early prediction from the Elena. And her only other options are Ultra 1, which most Elenas don't even run. And, um... Um, EX Rhino Horn, which you have to be really, really close for, and it's also really hard to react from the only range where, like, I don't know. Alright, change whatever. Sephric versus Bootsy. Oh, Sephric lost. Bootsy is a good player. That means I might go up against Sephric before too long. At least if that happens, I'll feel good. Um, let's get Leak Squad and Deveritus. DSC, too serious. Deveritus is a pretty good player. It's the same guy, right? This is Deveritus, right? Focus backdash fireballs, you just chase her to the corner until that's not an option anymore. Same as what Ryu does in every matchup. Push, push, push. Elena's well, corner escape is okay, but not against Ryu. Um, Kihara, are you good to go up against Splice Telix? No, we just had Splice Telix. Who's good to go? Bootsy and Jeffro are already finalized. Uh, Sonic SOL and Rook are chilling somewhere, somehow. Who's, like, currently good? Honey vs. Elena is definitely good for Elena. 
Probably like a 6-4. Yeah, I got Martin. I didn't push my mix up almost at all. Jaren just won his game. Martin v. Rook can now go on. Let's go ahead and get that one. Who is Rook? Who is Rook? EXE Rook. I don't know if you guys can hear my cat, but he's right here and he's meowing as loud as he can. Um, why is no one coming? I'm going to message both of them. I shouldn't even ask that. If it says join game, then he's already playing. It means he already has a lobby. Never mind, he messaged me, so now I'm asking. Damn it, I just want a game on stream. I'm not going to do warm-ups in the middle of my tournament. Alright, Martin came in. It's Martin and exe. Dot exe rook. Nine nine seconds. Oh, so they just got into the lobby, or I mean, into the match. Uh, someone, rook's not my friend. I don't think so. He can't see my messages. Unless he, like, looks for them. Fucking Rook, please. Look at that name. XX Gabriel XX AC. Does the AC stand for Accent Core? There he goes. I should have just gone Ken. I'm pretty strong in the mirror. Damn, that wake up 50 50 he was good at. I guess wrong a lot. There's very little genuine guessing there. You can have reactions and dodge the guesses. I'm pretty sure Ryu wins this one. Able sensors to fireballs are not so hot. He's got focus dash, which is okay. And ultra one, which is great. Ooh, look at all those points. Metsu Shoryu. Metsu Shoryu is not as shitty in this match as it is in most matches, but it's still shitty and he shouldn't have picked it. But a character where they have to gamble a lot, where they have to take a lot of risks, Metsu Shoryu is a lot easier to land. And um, it sure does a lot of damage anyway. Especially meterless damage. It's meterless damage is notably much higher than Ultra One. Martin's gonna try and give him come out probably with like a fake safe jump into EX Tatsu into Ultra Two or some bullshit like that. Try to bait out the EX EX Tornado throw. He's playing pretty safe. That's a punish. No matter what Abel's follow up is, he can't he can't cancel into change of direction on Ryu. Because Ryu has a 3 frame reversal. 
and it beats, it has the invincibility to beat every other follow-up. What they really should do is make, like, fucking... No, I don't know if there's a solution. It's a good use of staying short. Oh, that was uppercut. You could have landed an ultra 2 there. Hold it out once. Imagine if uh, Martin neutral jumped there. That would have been neutral jump hard kick into ultra 2. That would have been a lot of damage. Call that meter. Abel's pretty shitty in this, uh, in the neutral. That was probably a failed armor cancel. It failed because he wasn't hit on the first frame, not because of an execution error. That was pretty ferocious. The X uh, wheel kick is pretty good for Abel, especially against fireballs. It's a nice little tool he has. Good combo. Ooh, neat. Wake up. Meaty, meaty throw is very strong versus Abel because it beats all his, his reverse options except a throw tech. Um, this probably should just be an ultra too. He's not really going to have that many other opportunities to land it. Fake cross up. Uppercut chip out. He was safe. No, he wasn't. Did he try to beat the super? He should have just blocked it. Oh my lord, that comeback. I don't even have anything to say. What he should have done, he jumped really early on the uh, knockdown that left Abel at zero health. He should have like done a cross up there or something that Abel couldn't punish. And then um just chipped into into medium uppercut, just block string into medium uppercut. And it should have been done there. Martin let a kind of big comeback happen through two minor errors. There's no reason the far crutch hard punch should have worked and there was no reason um the wake up super should have worked. Martin like walked into the two things that he could still lose to. But that's gonna be hard to replicate. So if he can play as well as he did that time, like, that kind of ending probably won't happen again. Stand short is very key for Abel. He's throwing very few fireballs. Fireballs are pretty good in the early stages before Abel has meter. I feel like he can get away with a lot more than he's using. He's only block stringing into them. Ooh, that could have been a big punish. Abel probably could have crushed medium kick that. Not bad, Hamzies. Oh, jump back short. Very safe option against Abel. Ooh, nice reversal. Each win is progressively harder. Ooh, no crutch, no crutch pierce. Why didn't he uppercut before? Blocking the jump in. Crutch pierce would have been very helpful there. Oh, he's dead. This able has got a good sense of when to do what. He's got a good revolving mix-up guy. He's guessed right more often than he's guessed wrong, I feel like. Martin's respecting the stand fierce a lot. He's not jumping out. He loses. Oh. That was unusual. That was a failed blink, I guess. Oof. That's probably safe at that range. Step kick was nice. He could have won right there. He had the meter. Step kick, dash in, stand fierce, change of direction, crutch fierce. Pulling sky. What's the combo? Oh, it's almost it. Martin needs a miracle. He needs as big a comeback as. Yeah. Well, 
That was pretty strong able play. I've never seen this guy before, but I'm already excited. Very interesting. Um, DSC too serious. He's still free. Actually, my game might be ready. No, it's not. Sonic SOL on A H L R. You need to sort your game out like stat. Looks like this guy might be playing. Baff whenever you're ready, said Sonic SOL. No. All right. Looks like he just won. It's not being reported. Why isn't it being reported? He's right here. And then it turns out the other guy won. This guy just like just undercutting it. Uh, Sakura. All right. This matchup is okay. Elena doesn't like frame traps, but really, who does? Everything else is perfectly manageable. It's the battle of the century. Fight. It was slow. It was kind of far away too. It's slightly laggy. Got me. I ended up getting more damage out of it than he did. Maybe about the same amount actually. Hmm. Could have cancelled that. That ain't cool. The lag! I blame the stage. It's pretty bad lag though, to be honest. Can't get combos. Um, ouch. He could have followed up with an ultra there. That's pretty safe reversal at 3 frames. And he couldn't block it. And it recovers pretty fast. Sucker is kind of one dimensional. It's not anti me. There's a range you can jump in on Sucker where if you empty jump, I just tried to do it there. Um, she can't anti if she tries to anti you can punish it. Really meaty, wasn't it? <gasps> My low profile frames didn't save me. He really tried to FADC that for more damage. Combo's dropping left and right. Sloppy, sloppy. I didn't think I would hit. I need that back. That's fine. That was laggy. I'm gonna pick a stage that isn't that stage. Gotta pick my good color. There we go. North America, skyscraper under construction. Destination confirmed. Who will emerge a champion? Fight! Stage will only help slightly. That kind of sweep is very hard to hit as an actual genuine end here. I just done more jabs. Mm, got me. Thought I attacked late enough to sneak one in. <gasps> Ooh, that hurts. That hurts even more. That's such a bad punish. Got me. Man. 
Went in a little hard there, didn't I? Whoa. They're blocking. That is a full heal. No fear. Sakura. What's she gonna do? Oh, fuck. This hurts. Let's go. Maybe did a light uppercut there. Good thing they're white health. That's unfortunate. I feel like I got the cancel. That was a punish. That was a still that was still a punish. Wow. Reversal fireball. I'm pretty sure all his reversals would have got stuff there. It's Sakura. No bar. I got really lucky there. Both my uppercuts worked. That's fortunate. <gasps> I didn't know that. At least to me. Tried the background house, but I was two minus. That was too hopeful. I can't do that. I like that. <sighs> that dropped. That gave me additional damage. Um, whatever. That was bad. I'm gonna apologize. I'm gonna say GG. Sorry for like. I can't be the first one to say GG though. I guess I'll just say sorry for like. Hmm. Sephric is suddenly here. <laughs> I guess it's him. It's survival of the fittest on a global scale. Who among the challengers will make it to the top? Matchup. North America, skyscraper under construction. Destination confirmed. I bet Sephiroth has combos. It's the battle of the century. Fight! Hard fireball, cause he knows. Whoa! I got a forward dash. That was unfortunate. Was pretty big punish that I just missed, cause I got a forward dash. Kind of frame trap. Mm. And I can theoretically slide punish. A lot of red fireballs. Shit. I get a juggle there. No, maybe not. Kuma would have a juggle there. But he worry doesn't have the same juggle potential on his fireballs. I mean, those uppercuts. Didn't catch those that time. What the hell? I tried to wait a long time, but the a long time didn't help me at all. Stings a whole lot. I had two good opportunities to win. Ooh, he get he let me get away with that one. Oh. Oh. I think I was safe from that jump. Watch those to oh, no watching toes. He gave me one again. I need to keep this Y health. This health is precious. I didn't want that. Got him jumping, but I was too far. I 
I was slow. Got the white. That's what I wanted. He needs to just predict that. <laughs> I thought he predicted there. Yeah, I got one. I played real lame and real safe. <laughs> I tried to jump. might be it for me. I might be toast. It wasn't very laggy though. It wasn't laggy at all. I might be toast. Dropping combos. Bad footsies. Healing would have gotten me a lot more mileage than that playstyle. Then Ultra 1 or double. Alright, let's see if we can get some... See if we can get some adjustment going. Five actually made me a worse player. Oh. Five is even less skill based than Street Fighter Four is. Uh, I tried to walk under it. Lane is tall. <laughs> Fuck. That was slow. That wasn't a punish, I didn't take a throw. Sloppy, sloppy. <gasps> That's the one time I went for anything. Hmm. That was entirely the wrong combo. That was punished, probably. Probably medium. Probably light. Damn, he baited me. Uh, I didn't foresee it. FADC Ultra 2. Makes me more than a little uncomfortable. Oh fuck. This has just gone from bad to bad. That's a little bit better. Uh, I got kind of hit out of enough uh, stand strong. Bad anti airs killed me several rounds, and now I'm dead. That was fast. Let's keep Sephiroth on because he's up against, I guess, Rob. So many things happened without being reported. This is probably the fastest I've gone out in a bath cup in a long time. I'm getting messages all over the place. Wait, Sephiroth, come back. What do you say? My execution was not so good. Let's 
Steph and I are in top eight, fam. Yeah. That's cool. What? Just play. We're at top eight. Brutus versus DeBaritus hasn't been determined yet. I should have sent that message, you know, I forgot. I got left with that ages ago. There's only one match before top eight, and I don't care about it. I kind of care about it. I'd rather just watch the culmination of that match. Oh, I guess I should throw up my thing. My banner. Is it this one? With the player name things. No player names. When they all have player names. It's hard to do that on OBS. It's easy to do that on like FF Split, I think. Or X Split? I forget. One of them it's easier. Damn, I need to like fight shadows and not be a not be a bad. This game Street Fighter 5 isn't even out yet when I think about this game. And I love Street Fighter 4. I think about this game and I like don't even I don't even care. Or rather, I'd like to be good at it, but like being good at Street Fighter V is like so much more appealing in my head. That was a good stand strong. Oh, maybe he was a bit early? Oh, Sephiroth though. I've always had a lot of trouble with Shadows as Elena. I feel like Elena... I feel like Ken and Evil are both pretty strong against Elena. It's very difficult to... to mount... to... to I feel like those are bad matchups. But they're especially bad matchups for me. And the battle continues. Fight. I don't think Ryu's a bad match. Oh, no, I kind of, I kind of don't like Ryu either for Elena. I don't like Elena against any of the Shotos. But I don't think she really loses to any of them. I think they're just like 5.5, 4.5 each. But I actually feel like those are that, that, that kind of matchup. But I didn't lose because of the matchups just now. I mean, there isn't really a counter pick for Shotos per se. My best character in a slightly bad matchup is better than my second best character in an even matchup. Because my second best character isn't even close to as good. But my second best character, which is probably Ken. Ooh, that was cool. Backed up. Probably would have been okay here, just purely because uh, I was out of practice and kind of easier to play. Sephiroth is looking pretty strong. Counter is a bit strong. I feel like Yang and Yun both do well against Shotos. But I feel like that's well in the same way that I feel like Shotos do well against Elena. I feel like it's like 5.5, 4.5 at most. We're having a lot of talk about matchups, but really what I lost to was myself and my hands and my expectations. I wasn't using most of my tools because I was, um, I hadn't used them in a while. I didn't have the full presence of mind. I mean, I lost to my opponents too, but I also lost to myself. That was a good punish. It wasn't even that good of a punish. Honestly, if you're going to stay in hard kick punish, you might as well back for a punish. Does more damage, gets a knockdown, keeps the corner. Lyson doesn't do that well in that kind of scenario. He's kind of bad at uh, getting punishes after his charge is broken. Ouch! Ouch. Ouch. Should have just been a cancel into a uh, scissor kick. Alright. Didn't mean much. Long, longer bit. 
Ooh, that was pretty desperate. Bison doesn't really go in like that. That uppercut was not a good success rate. That was nice. Level 2 focus counters, level 2 focus. Um, I don't know if Bison could have done any better on the punish. If I don't know, I mean, I feel like he should have. He backdashed, didn't he? Forward dash was better there. Just guaranteed punish. I actually kind of like Bison against Ryo and Evil Ryo. I watch a lot of this matchup. It's very common in um, Japanese streams. A lot of Bison players. A lot of Evil Ryus. A lot of regular Ryus. This is... yeah. Yeah. So I forgot to make... I don't even know if Ultra 2 would have beaten that. He might have. They might have gone through each other. Can Bison do Ultra 2 after a backdash? Focus backdash? Grumple? Is that, I mean Ultra 1. Does that still work properly? It should, right? It'll probably lose some hits, but it should still work. Still get the animation, I think. I'm not sure, actually. I love that outfit. That outfit, that single outfit, that's, that Jekyll and Hyde whatever justifies the entire monster pack for me. Hmm. Empty jump, low short. That was a nice trick. That's a freaking combo out of it. Whoa, the hop went over the sweep. Probably no punish opportunity though. Scissor kick, stand hard kick, always good. Uh, I'm pretty sure Bison can punish that. That was just a punish. Bad time to jump, you got unlucky. That ended up being pretty good for Blanco. That was so early! It was double reverse. If it was stomp, Blanco would be toast right now. He'd have taken so much damage. Nice. That eats that. That's punish too. Sephiroth had a bunch of good reads. Situations kind of happened in such ways that Sephiroth had a big advantage just from the way it unfolded. I don't know to what degree that was luck and to what degree it was skill on his part. Slide is normally really good, but he was too close. Good at catching doubles first, that is. Ooh, that was space to be safe. Oh, oh that should have been slide, right? I'm pretty sure slide would have punished there. Blanco slide is really good at that sort of thing. Good fake. Shit, this is this is this is this is some mean tier set Tefrik. That was way late. He's going for the fake cross up ball. He was too late. Oh my. Oh, he could have whip punished that. I like how safe that was. Sefric just waited and watched. There's not much that can still kill him. Like, it's really not that hard to avoid ever getting hit by an Ultra 1 from a... from a M. Bison doesn't have 3 meters yet. It's really, like, Bison has to... That wasn't both, was it? Was that both? Yeah, it was. Did he get a win as the... Oh. Alright. Um... Rob's out too, so Rob, if you want to, um, hold on. Rob, do you want to hop on commentary with me? Let me get on Skype, I'm not on Skype right now. It's going to make things slightly slower during the shuffling of, um, um, matches. <laughs>
Ringling. 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 Hey, yo, what's up? Hello, hello. Can let you me, hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, but let me make sure you're nice and loud on the stream. Hello, everyone. How's everyone doing tonight? Um, that's probably good. Say some words. Uh, Suffolk is free. Oh, Albert shit. Luke. Oh, Albert my Luke. God. Oh. I got randomed. Uh, nothing I could have done. It was laggy, and... I, I got nothing else. I like the words you're speaking. I feel the same way. Alright, I'm gonna get, um... I am not coughing. I'm limited. Thank you. I'm gonna right. get Rook and Jaren in here, I guess. This is actually the one I'm most looking forward to. Rook and Jaren. Uh, I thought it was able. It looked really good. Uh, yeah. I didn't see everything, uh, but it looked really strong. I'm not an expert in these things, but I imagine that DiCaprio would be pretty good against Able. Uh, he, uh, he can't really punish hands, can he? That that really makes or breaks the matchup for a lot of characters for DiCaprio. Like, their ability to punish hands. Yeah. Um, and then... Um, uh, ground pound mix up is okay. Uh, I feel like ground pound mix up might not be that good against stable because of roll. No, but uh, I, f I, I feel like uh, not even ground pound left right, but like I shouldn't have said that. Like the fake out into throw, it probably just oh, bullies yeah, yeah, everything he has. That, that seems really strong. She probably doesn't yeah, we'll, even have we'll the ground see. pound ever. We'll see. We'll see what they have. They're probably very uh, experienced. You get the uh, like... invite. Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm in there. Oh, you're in here. I see uh, you. I'll, you're I'll you're the rob. I just I I invited the other two and like I just um <laughs> I joined on my own. I'm yeah. A big boy. All right. Um. Let me before you anything happens. Uh. We gotta get. Rook, get in here. And we still have to do exactly the same amount of shuffling. Yeah. I I can't believe I've ever seen this matchup played at a tournament. No. Abel's not exactly common, is he? Well, I I wouldn't say that. I mean. Capcom Cup. Well, no one played DiCaprio at Capcom Cup. Uh, but, I don't know, Abel's been doing a lot. Very, I, I put him in the top 10 characters for sure. He's been doing really good lately. I think, like, at the later stages of Ultra, Abel's been showing up to be very strong. We can, he can do well against all the top tiers. Like, I think uh, Abel does okay against Elena, Seth, Evil Ryu. Because he can... He can the comeback potential is really strong against those low health characters. He does have good comeback potential, but I don't think that equates to a winning matchup against those guys. I feel like Seth beats Abel, and I def I definitely yeah, yeah, feel like Seth does, beats Abel. It's his worst matchup, arguably. Almost oh. not arguably, because... I would buy that. Seth has a lot of characters' worst matchups. I'm beginning to think that he's just like a top tier flat out. <laughs> he's just a top tier because of just like out of matchup, like, spreadsheet looks, really. Like, if... If Hondo, well, not Hondo, Hondo is all, like, there's some low tier characters, like, Mako if Makoto was top tier, Seth would be, like, a much worse character. Yeah. I feel. Something, stuff like that. It, it, it's the nuances that make the game, you know? Yeah. They call that a uh, representative tier, I think, yeah. is when there's, when there's a character who, like, would be good if not for the fact that the characters who are top tier, yeah. they, like, get bodied by. Or, or the opposite, a character that is good because of the top tier. Yeah. All right, let's see what they got. I'm sure they know the matchup. Let's see. If, oh, that's good a pretty one. good start for Rook. I think he can. I think he might have. Well, he can get a speed after that, for sure. Oh my goodness, the counter hit step kick. He didn't confirm. Ooh. Abel actually gets counter hit step kick into crutch first, but it's tight. Or or another step kick. <laughs> yeah, or another step kick. Which is a lot cooler. Ooh, the Ooh. Extra, the extra seems really good to go through that. Yeah. The idea with uh, Ape, I know the idea with the Capri Ultra one is to start blocking it as soon as possible. Look at that, that's cheap. Nerf that. That was like his best anti-air too. Yeah, Abel. I feel like he has a lot of trouble with like when DiCaprio is doing that, but a good block will turn everything around. I think Jaren is like betting a lot. That was definitely a lot of gambling. Yeah, like a good block or a good focus will turn everything around. Oh, Ooh. that could have been a step kick punish. Yeah, that could have been a lot more. Oh, that's... Alright. Well, I don't know. I, I want to see the SPD. Shelby's just not ready for it. 
He's anti-airing early on every single uh, scramble. Yeah. He's probably not ready for the, the motion on cross-up, and that's why he's... Oh, he dropped the link. Yeah. Abel rides a lot on two bars. If you fuck up once, like, you lose so much opportunity. But like, look at DiCaprio's health, that step kick into a San Fierce that he dropped. Was like, yeah, that would have. She'd be at like twenty percent right now. Yeah, I, that, that's the the able factor right there. But he dropped it. Uh, it's a really big deal for able. Maybe the connection's getting to him. They both have green bars to me. They both seem to have like really good connections right now. But maybe just nervous tournament. tournament it could be nerves, could man. be tournament nerves. I feel like uh, Rook didn't look like like I feel I feel like he has a nice able, but like he didn't look too hot in that matchup. Maybe like he he's lacking the experience. Jaren seemed to be playing it pretty well. Maybe just warming up. Team explode right now. That was the data data round. Yeah, grab players need data. Oh yeah, that that's more than any other type of character. Okay. Mm. What does the stream chat think? Man, you guys are awful. You don't even discuss the matchup. Talking about Makoto. Look at this high pass matchup going on. And you're talking about the worst character in the game. This is one of the higher level matchups we've ever had in here. Yeah. I think we had uh, Jaren versus CJ once. Yeah, that this... was a, a great grand final. This CJ is. One. That is so tricky. Yeah. yeah. I hate that one. That's, that's like. Oh, oh, oh. my god. Jaren's so consistent with his his uh, pressure, or not consistent, I should say, but like he's so consistent with his execution. That was pretty free. That was that was very like he just didn't he gets wrong yeah. every time. He didn't contest it, and it's really bad. Like like Jaren's pressure was really efficient against the lack of contesting. Yeah, Jer Jaren's not afraid of him right now. He hasn't shown any reversal SPDs, nothing. Ooh, there we go. That's a good start. Ooh. Good reset. Good, good, very good. DiCaprio. One more in stun, I think. Yeah. Oh. oh, that was so obvious in retrospect. Backdash against the instant overhead. That was good. That was a good answer. DiCaprio does not like the throw hit mix up at all. That's like her biggest weakness. You have to put oh, pressure on her. Oh, out of EX command grab? I, I think that was EX roll. You can throw EX command grab. Yeah, well, you can. But I, well, it can just do regular one. Ooh, Ooh the read. Ah, uh, uh, I wonder if that was light or hard. Yeah, that was... Interesting. I wonder which one it was. Maybe. That was a 50 50. Yeah. Or like blocking. But like a. 50 on like. Well, is he going to command grab or meaty? Yeah. But if you just like backdash for safety and then. He's in the corner too. Yeah. Or maybe like even a roll on his wake up would have been cool. Yeah. Um. Alright, we got to get another one going. It's. Um... What's up next? Oh, he, he did the. Apparently he did the hard uppercut and not the light one. That was pretty. That was a pretty aggressive read then. Yeah. Because that's a lot more risky. So oh, Bootsy we got versus Jeff and Bootsy. Yeah. Uh, Bootsy is the uh, poison player. Uh, I, I forget. I haven't seen him in too I'm long. Pre I'm pretty sure. I'm. Pre I, um, he's been playing poison and rose. Poison kind awesome. of bodies. Uh, Hugo doesn't. Yeah, that's, doesn't that's, But I think I think Hugo. It's not the worst. It's not Goken or Sagat. I think Hugo can definitely. Who is Bootsy in my in my thing here? Who is that? <laughs> Who do I invite? <laughs> I. Where is the Bootsy? This is not Bootsy DK. I'm looking at all these names. I'm A4 low tier god. Oh. <laughs> Alright. We got a star among us. Low tier god. Came down from heaven himself to play on the backup. Canada boys, we represented now. All right, one of us should ready up. I guess I'll ready up. Um, but yeah, if it's Hugo versus Boys, then I feel like definitely probably seven, maybe maybe six point five in Poison's favor. I like maybe six point five, Hugo. and I think Rose also probably six four. I feel like both those characters. Yeah. Uh, Poison has better fireballs and Rose has better normal. I don't know which one he favors more. 
But I think Jeff is definitely the kind of player that can pull it off. Yeah. We we've seen him pull off some crazy stuff in the past, and. All right, Hugo versus Poison as predicted. Point. Good old uh, Ultra. You've been seeing this? Like, look at this. We've had we just watched the Decaffrey. Now we got a nice Hugo versus Poison. Where where's the user when you need him? Yeah. And me maybe. <laughs> <laughs> That peacock outfit is too lewd. Ah, oh, good trade for poison. Yeah, she gets so much upgraded fireballs. Hugo has jumping is a really risky way to approach. He could have oh, juggled yeah. out of that. Yeah. This is already really that early jump hard kick to fuck with anti airs. Yeah, and it, Hugo is so big that it really doesn't matter if you do like an earlier one because it's gonna hit him early anyway. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, this is aggressive. <laughs> that standing medium kick. <laughs> Oh, could have been ultra. <laughs> I can't believe he contested that. Well, let's Ooh, block and punish. Like that. Ooh, damn. Yeah. Reset. Like um, reversals. You can live or die in this matchup on when you do your reversals against Hugo. Yeah. If you block that uppercut, it would have been like... Yeah, Hugo gets more damage off a blocked uppercut than like any character in the game. Ooh, he's getting a lot of jump ins. Yeah. I think uh, Jeffro's not really respecting the jump in yeah, at all. Yeah, Jeffro was expecting the zoning and then, like, that, that, that's one of the things that is really good is when to know when to, like, unexpectedly go in. Yeah. Come out of, out of guard. And, and the beauty of Poison is she can, she's really efficient at going in and keeping away. Yeah. Jumping hard kick is so good. Hugo seems kind of hopeless right now. If he'd be anti airing those jumps, he'd be a lot better off. Yeah. Poison's getting a lot yeah. of corner push every time. He has to be ready for everything. He's looking really hard for a way to get in. And oh, that combo! I think that comboed. It did. <laughs> that was a, it was a, it was a ex fireball that broke armor. So uh, the second hit was the counter hit. So that's normally like plus what, like three or four? Probably like uh, plus uh, six or seven there. But the real question was the horizontal range. He actually like, I mean, it wasn't too risky to hit crouch jab, but it was kind of cool that he. That he was in range to get that link. Yeah, yeah, that was the armored ar armored moves usually lead to some interesting and unusual situations that you normally you don't see. Did you play um? Did you play the beta for Street Fighter Ultra? Like 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 Street Fighter Four beta? No, I did not. Uh, in the entire development phase, Poison had a four frame crouch jab, and like right before release, it went to three frames, and it's her only three frame normal. And I think a lot of her combos were balanced around her not having a three frame normal. Yeah, I I feel like it's fine. I don't think poison is. I don't think it's. I mean, I never really think an execution issue really makes or breaks a character's tier. But um, her but three frame jab, jab does a lot is, of work. Jab is an unflinkable button, so it kind of does matter a little bit, especially for jab. And jab. it matters a lot when it comes to like you know being able to contest a uh, uh, minus attack or something like that. Yeah. Just button speed. Alright, let's see if Jeff can adjust. Ooh, that was a good start. Uh, you can actually, as Hugo, you have a combo there now. Look I wonder at the if... damage you did with three jabs. I know, I know. Uh, if you get like a deep jump in like that, Hugo can actually do crush jab, stand jab, crush jab into uh, Lariat now. That's like a new combo he has because his, his stand jab has like a bunch of frame damage. Uh, the meat Double. squasher. No. Yeah, I saw it. Oh, that didn't hit in time. No, the meat squasher, he wanted the corner instead of like the actual punish. But he didn't get it. Hugo's Me Squasher is like a pretty good punish in its own. Just because it does on like 320, I think, with, with the strong follow up. Oh, that's smart. Yeah, that's like. And it gets you the corner, and then. And I think it gets you like a free clap setup. Yeah. Well, not if you get the reset, never yeah. mind. But Both are fine. Yeah. That was good. Sometimes even a standing, standing reset can be good on, like, on Hugo. Uh. Yeah, this is looking really grim. Yeah. I don't know if Jeff has any other character that he can bring out if he comes That combo! Grand final. I don't think Stan Fierce or Crouch Fierce would have comboed there. That's th that Crouch Strong juggle was really cool. This is some really good poison play. <gasps> oh, this is the beginning. Okay. What we got? Nope. Missed the follow up. Didn't go for the. Ooh! This is a really. Oh, oh my god. He no! He did it too early. He uh. had it. He baited it. But he, he didn't get it. Uh. No. Wait, Jeff. hold on. It's not over. It's just really bad. Uh, okay, it it's over. <laughs> he he had it. Yeah, he got the, he baited the um baited the uppercut at just the right time. That would have actually been it. Yeah, that would 
expertly played until like the very end where he tried to like SPD too early. Like he, I, I can't understand why he would do that. Like he tried to bait something and then he SPD. Even if he stayed on the ground, that would have been out of range. What did he expect him to do? I think we can keep Jeffro up, right? Uh, we're moving straight to losers then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Jeffro against uh, Martin. 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 Is that? I don't know. I, I have high hopes for Martin. He's like, I love his online can. Beat me. Like, oh. Martin. Uh, Martin's actually like he's a really smart player. Like the way, when he plays you, he frustrates you to no end. But he's actually really smart. Yeah, he knows when to turn it on and off. Yeah. He he knows how to mix you up, but like the most basic stuff. And you're like, what am I? What is going on? Step step kick into DP three times in a row, dude. Come on. He does suffer against uh, characters with bigger damage. Uh, he, he suffers against like Abel's Hugo's because it's you know like Elena or Bison get a, a, a punish on Ken. It's not too bad, but like Hugo or Abel get a punish on Ken. And it's, yeah, you know, that's true. A, a very highly risky playstyle is a lot more punishing yeah. against high damage characters. But it's still Shoto against Hugo. He's gonna go straight with Ryu. Also, good character, not as good as it's Ken because he can't go with Dom. But still, still solid. He's a, he's a good shadow player. I, he can play solid, but his solid play style is ultra two. You know, ultra two. Yeah, he, that, that that does sound like a Martin thing to do. I've seen some tricks with ultra two against grapplers. It's only it's less less bad because you do have those opportunities to get ultra two off. Ooh, Ooh that would be good. Like a wake up ex running bear, I guess. Probably go like a fireball. Ryu's fireball speeds control this matchup pretty well. I would like to see jump in roundhouse, jump out roundhouse. You got really cool. Uh, oh, you should be anti no, with. Jeff. Wow, what a bad punish. Jeff is out of it. Today. What are these jumps? You can anti with staying roundhouse against that kind of that kind of jump as you go. So roundhouse is really good against grapplers. You don't have to leave the ground for the punish, and it goes really far out against the jumps that. Um, like, Rapplers have such long limbs midair that uppercutting when they don't do the button is really risky. Yeah. But jump hard kick uh, removes the need for that. Wah! Uh, notably, Ryu's jump strong. Ryu's a character with a two-hit jump normal. And those yeah. kind of fuck with Hugo's anti-airs, because the best he can do is either an EX backbreaker if he has the bar, or, like, block if he doesn't. It's kind of hard for him to beat them, because his only real option is stand fierce, which um, only has a single hit of armor. That was good. <gasps> Can you get it? All right, that's the beginnings. He goes very strong. Oh, that's the third strike trick. It's basic, that's the equivalent of like Zangief, uh, crushing medium kick, SPD. Ooh. Oh, that was an ultra throw. I'd be dead. It's all right though. Still really good for him. That was a good bait. Yeah, that was a very good meaty uh, save. Wow. That's such a strong mix-up, hard versus medium clap with the meaty or the fake meaty. Yeah. Very difficult to contest that. There's all, there's literally no way to tell. You just have to go. He stops it. No. Oh, it kind of hit. He dropped the combo. That's pretty easy. He might have gone for the light clap. Ooh, the reset. Ultra? Yeah, ultra here. Oh. That's max damage, I think. Would, do you think it would have been better to save save some bar? Maybe. He didn't use two bars for that. But like maybe like what? It does add quite a lot of damage for what it's worth. Nice combo. Oh shit. Oh shit. That was a bit too far. Like barely too far I think. Yeah. I thought Martin was pretty much out of it. Jeffrey needs to find himself right now because like Hugo's got a huge punish. Yeah, Jeffro is dropping some things that I've never seen him drop. Like, even if his punish was just, like, hard clap, light clap, like, crouch, stab, lariat, like, that'd still do a fuck ton of damage against um, a block Shoryuken. And there were a lot of Shoryukens. One thing that Martin was doing that didn't really make sense was the hard uppercut anti-air. That's really bad. <laughs> yeah, I like it. It's just for damage, and if he's really that confident... No, but he was hitting it really high up. It only does 40 damage when yeah. you hit it high. Oh. <laughs> The medium uppercut is more invincible, and like unless you hit it deep, it medium uppercut also does more damage. 
The height that he was using, he would have been better off using jab uppercut. He just said I'm laughing so hard, dude. So he's probably like doing hard up uppercut for the comedy of it. It could well be the comedy. <laughs> they all function. That's the thing. Yeah. I mean, you could might as well do light and get like an EX fireball or an ultra two. I mean, he gets tired. And he's telling everyone to hurry up. All right, Jeff going in. Uh, same opening as the first round. Hard uppercut, no fear. Whoa, Ooh, focus back dash. Got a fake bait. Good normals, but bad punish. That's nice. Ooh. That's where jump strong is good for Ryu. Got some white. Jump strong is risky because Hugo is so tall and like, like if he blocks, that you're in the the mix up of SBD or not. And That's kind of true. Yeah. Doesn't have that much head stun. Really. You have to do it kind of low in the jump to really make it work. Yeah. Oh, that was very aggressive. Like, think of what he was risking there. Just forward dash, immediate meat squasher. And reset. Oh, that was the reset. I think that was the Kara. You can do a clap Kara um, EX, EX Ultra Throw. This is looking super solid. Oh, no. Hugo with Super is very difficult for Ryu, actually. The Super changes the matchup a lot. Yeah, it, it's basically a full screen fireball punish. You're, you transform into stuff. Oh my god, the reads. Why wasn't it Ultra, though? Okay, I, honestly, he has Ultra 2, he can... Oh, anti air jab. Uh, stand strong, I think. That is a jab. Maybe a jab, yeah. <laughs> that was very unusual. I mean, like you said, maybe they're hearing, and maybe even expecting a jump strong. Jump in. That was a much better showing. Uh, I think it's more because of that Martin fell asleep more than Jeff woken up. Yeah, I feel like there were some. That was more of an untidy round than the first round. Yeah, Martin just like, man, I'm I'm wrecking this dude. I'm just do whatever I want, and then he gets Hugo, and it's not okay. You gotta 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 stay on your toes against uh, these high high skill players. Where's the epic Dane counter pick? Oh. <laughs> Epic Dan. I I actually don't feel Dan does too bad against you though. You don't a you lot, don't feel a Dan. Than, a lot worse than Ryu, but not bad. Dan oh. Dan traditionally suffers really bad against grapplers, because he doesn't have good buttons to keep them out, and his Dan kicks are all unusable. You can do like kick, like kick and zero. Yeah, like kick zero. And Hugo can't like low profile it at all. That was nice. He did the jump hard kick and he saw he was out of range, so he did a uh, low forward as a punish. Oh, he dropped it. That's a big punish. Yeah. Or not. <laughs> Ooh, the reset Ooh. again. That's got to be Kara. That was really cool. Yeah, that was like three jabs into it. Oh, that is so hard to spot. Unless you know the setup, there's no way you could have yeah. known. That was confidence right there. Oh, that low strong counter puck. That's 100 damage. Powerful. It's actually a pretty good counter poking button, but it looks it looks weak because it doesn't lead to anything. Yeah. But it's still okay. Good meat squasher. Not much of Hugo leads to much of anything. Yeah, except clap. Oh. Yeah, clap. It's like the one thing. Clap is the best normal in the game. Oh my god, the oh, reads. just got him again. Does 200 damage every time. It's strong as hell. Every meat squasher you eat. The thing is, any one of those, if it was a neutral jump, it would have been ultra two. It would it would have fucked him up pretty bad. Yeah, but Hugo, uh, Jeff was feeling it. He was feeling that Martin was, you know, kind of doing yeah. his job, not staying on his toes, not not respecting the bear grab. That's all three, that right? Actually, very quick. That is all three. Yeah. Uh, two one for Jeff. I feel like if he just kept playing like he played the first round, he would have been fine. But... Ooh, it's Rook versus Sephiroth. This is going to be interesting. Ooh, is Sephiroth going to play, whip out the evil Ryu? I wish he whipped out the evil Ryu one more round against me. It's not It's not looking clean yet, Sephiroth. You need more work. Have you seen a Rathmatics evil Ryu lately? No. He, um, I played him not so long ago, and he hit me with a combo that never stopped. <laughs> or evil Ryu tends to do that. But really, like, his execution was amazing. 
Rathmatic, the I mean, I think like if he, he's a really good player, I think he's kind of wasted on Spelong. Like the 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 things Spelong can do are kind of limited compared to like a character like Evil Ryu or stuff. Maybe executionally, like but like I feel like Spelong's a pretty strong character. Yeah, Spelong is strong, but like if you want, like I don't know, if you want to be do like if you can play a character to maximum potential. Like I, I would rather play like a maximum potential Evil Ryu than a. I see what you mean. You think Spelong's ceiling is too low? No, I don't think it's too low. I just think, like, you know, Evil Ryu hat. Philong's ceiling is, like, way above, like, most of the cast, but Evil Ryu is, like, top of the top. Yeah, Evil so, Ryu's like, ceiling is, and Seth as well, I guess. Yeah. Super high. Almost, almost endless. That, I feel like that's the most broken thing about Evil Ryu. I don't even really feel like. It's just, it's like, like, if Ryu, if regular Ryu wants to increase his damage, like, there's no ultra hard combo you can go for to get a lot of damage. You just, you just, you just suck. With like the yeah, kind yeah, of weak combo. You're you're limited by the game, you know. That's one of the big problems I have with Street Fighter Five. But let's not get into that. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, Patrick whipping out the evil Ryu.